Logging is no doubt big business here in Georgia, as it contributes almost $40 billion to the state's economy, which of course wouldn't be possible without hardworking loggers and logging operations like this one in middle Georgia, Sanders Logging, a family-run operation that's hard at work harvesting timber with the next generation taking over the reins. I'm a third generation, so my granddaddy and my father started this company uh, back a long time ago, and they incorporated it back in 1982. So uh, that's how we started off. It, you know, we short, started off short wooden, and it kind of transformed into what it is today. Um, I was born in '91, and uh, you know, I knew from a young age that I always wanted to be a logger. So I grew up around it, and as soon as I could get out here uh, and get on a piece of equipment, I did. And um, I was fortunate enough to go to the University of Georgia uh, to Warnell for forestry school. And I graduated back in uh, 2014, and I've been full-time with the company ever since. Sanders has certainly found his stride, as he still has the same passion he had when he was younger even taking that passion a step further by becoming an advocate for the state's forestry industry and the work they do each and every day, something he believes is important for the future of the industry and business. I thoroughly love what I do and, you know, I love to tell people um, about what I do because, you know, a general consensus of a logging industry, you know, or a logger in general is, you know, we're cutting trees, we're, you know, uh, uh, hurting the environment and all, but you know, we're really not. We're really, you know, managers of uh, a crop we call trees, you know. So I guess one of my biggest things is, you know, I love, I just want to educate the public on, on what we do, and I feel like, you know, that you need to get out in front of people that don't quite understand what we do. So that's been my biggest driver is uh, really tell my story. And, you know, in doing that, that's given me opportunities to speak at the Capitol. It's given me opportunity to speak to uh, schools, uh, classrooms of, of all ages, you know, and, and uh, I've really enjoyed doing that. I hope to continue to be able to do that. It's because of that passion, hard work, and dedication that Sanders not only loves what he does, but has been named the titles of Georgia Logger of the Year and Southeast Logger of the Year, an honor he says was earned by not only him, but everyone that he works alongside day in and day out. Sometimes you get lost in the day to day and, and you know, just the work that we do every day and uh, you know when, when somebody gives you a, a pat on the back sometimes it's it's worth more than money can buy you know so I would say that that's kind of my stance on it is you know that I'm really blessed um, that, that somebody's seen that you know that we we done a good job and uh, they wanted to put us forward and uh, it, it's uh, it's been a blessing to see that my peers and in other industries kind of voted me uh, or voted us, not me, it's it's my whole crowd, you know. Uh, the Georgia Logger of the Year and the, uh, the Southeast Logger of the Year as well. Reporting in Cochrane for the Farm Monitor, I'm John Holcomb.